All right, folks, we're continuing playing through Mario Kart Wii CTGP, and I think today we're going to be uh, one of my favorite characters, Koopa Troopa. Everybody loves Koopa Troopa, right? Uh, I like the bullet bike. It's a very good vehicle, and I think it's time for Koopa Troopa to continue to kick butt. So today we are on the Brick Cup. We've got Cherry Blossom Garden, Sky Grove, Tropical Factory, and Crystal Dungeon. All right. I like the sound of all of those, so, and they're all brand new to me. This is going to be interesting. Can't wait. Let's see what lies in store. First up, Cherry Blossom Garden. Well, that is indeed a Cherry Blossom Garden. Ooh, I like the night sky. I like the pink uh, Sakura petals. The torches. All right, this is going to be like maybe a different version of Peach Gardens. I like Peach Gardens, so let's see. Oh, I can't wait. This will be great. Hopefully. We got the Peach Gardens music, so that's a good sign. Did he call him? That was completely uncalled for. That didn't benefit you at all. It literally just made me suffer. In the bullet bike, you gotta really avoid the other vehicles. Especially when you're wheeling. Ow! Koopa's not doing so hot. Koopa finally has a power up, and it's triple mushrooms! Oh, there's a secret wraparound you can do. Not sure if that's going to be faster or not. Bowser! Again, that was very uncalled for. <gasps> Darn it. I was trying to save those for if I could find any potential shortcuts, but I don't think there are any potential Peach Gardens-esque shortcuts on this map. Um, I don't know how I got up here. That was one heck of a jump. Apparently, Koopa coated the bottom of the bolt bike in flubber before we started. I guess that's kind of cool. Oh, hey, it's Diddy Kong. Oh, bye, Diddy Kong. I almost got hit by a green shell at the same part on the second lap. That would have sucked. I really like the theming of this course, though. No, we're going this way. Oh my gosh. That was uh, unnecessarily risky. But I like doing it anyways. All right, final lap. Honestly, the one thing I think this course needs, shortcuts. I guess if you go up there, you can boost across the grass. That's a shortcut, all right. But, uh, you know, more shortcuts. <laughs> I'm a sucker for good shortcuts, what can I say? I was raised on Lego Racers, which had the best shortcuts in all of racing games. Oh yeah, trick the red shell into going off a cliff. Ha oh, ha! Tight turning comes in clutch yet again. I don't think this way is actually any faster. But it's still cool to take. It's less likely that other bracers are gonna go that way. Cause it's a little harder to go through. And no, 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 gotta finish. Yes! Please ignore the garage door. But we did it. We beat the red shell to the finish line and we got 15 points. Yeah! Good job, Koopa. Good job, flubber coated bullet bike. Let's hope we can keep up the shenanigans in the next level, which is. I already forget. <laughs> Skygrove. Fairly simple name, but I like the nighttime. I like the full moon. Oh no, bouncy mushrooms. Well, it was fun while it lasted. 
I mean, it seems like a pretty simple ring-shaped track. Hopefully the bouncy mushrooms are actually well made. Oh yeah, very simple. Oh no, there's a lot more than it looked like there were on the overhead map. Oh, we great, and we get the mushroom gorge music. So that's all. That's strike two. All right, first bouncy mushroom. Not really sure why it was even there because we just all drove right over it. Yeah, I'll be honest. I feel like you could have just removed the bouncy mushroom platforms entirely, and the course would basically be unchanged. All right. So you added the bouncy mushrooms just to troll me. That's that's what this really is. We know Artie doesn't like these, so let's add them. Oh, you're doing so well. You have nine tracks in a row with no bouncy mushrooms. Then you pull this out. Well, I mean, I guess as far as bouncy mushrooms goes, I'll take this. My impressions of this course, it's alright. It's not anything special, but it's at least kind of fun. It is a bit simple. I think it could have standed for a little bit more interest than just a, like, circle. Otherwise, though, I mean, there's nothing outright terrible about it. The bouncy mushrooms are actually... Oh, maybe that's why the bouncy mushrooms are there, in case you don't get the trick off. Okay, you know what? That first use of the bouncy mushroom, actually well done. Second one I could honestly kind of do without. Then I don't even notice the third one. So I guess as far as bouncy mushrooms go, this is a pretty good use of them. Because it's not like, let's make a track that's just you bouncing on bouncy mushrooms and call it Mushroom Peaks and we'll never ever remove it. Even though it's objectively terrible. There we go! Wow! Break away! As that song goes, we were 10 seconds ahead of Diddy Calm. And that suits me just fine. Alright! Again, fun, not anything special. I'd give it like a B. Tropical Factory. Now, this one intrigues me. I hope we get the Toad's Factory music. Alright. I like the factory feel, and that's a lot of palm trees. Okay, this one looks really interesting. I'm hyped. Let's go for it. Whoa! Look at that mini-map. That is complex. Yes, we get Toad's Factory! Get the chain chops in the parking lot, and it's two laps. I guess that means it's going to be a little complicated. Oh my gosh, there are trucks driving around in the factory. That, I was not expecting. Ah, hi, forklift. Oh my gosh. Feels like a maze. Oh my gosh! Oh, 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 Koopa's alive. Oh my gosh, this course is crazy. Looks like there were two different ways to go there, and I took the left route. Wonder if the right route was any better. Or if it was a route at all. Because it looks like everybody took the same route that I did. Okay, I'm not going to take the route of the mashers. I'm going to take it nice and safe up on the rafters. Why is, does that count as falling off? I was driving on a gate. It was turning the same way as this one. Alright, I'm calling foul on that one. That makes no sense why that this counts as a you fell off thing. So that that's strike one. If you really want us to fall off there, then don't put a gate there. And if you want to put a gate there, then make it so we don't fall off. If you want to do both, well, I'm sorry, but there's no helping you there. You can't have both. Why was there just an invisible banana peel flying around? Kane Boo, once again, that did not benefit you at all. You literally did that just to be a butt to me. Also, why are there cars driving around in the factory? Still getting me a little bit. 
I hope Boo gets run over by a forklift. Oh, all the, this is a pretty good course outside of that one, like, oh, you fell for no reason. Yes, Boo got run over by a forklift! <laughs> Alright, let's try to take some alternate routes this time. Okay, so you need a boost to get through that. Ouch. That's not good. That's also not good. That's really not good. I thought I drove around that. Oh, that's not an alternate route. That's just a wall. It looked like you could drive through that. Oh, no. Yikes. Lap 2 is going decidedly less swimmingly than lap 1 was. Is that Wario in the Jet Setter? I've got to beat Jet Setter Wario. I don't think that's an unreasonable goal to have. Alright, you guys can go up that way. I'm going to take the Masher away this time. That's really dumb. Did you forget to remove a death plane on this map? Because it feels like you forgot to remove a death plane on this map. I need something a little bit better than a triple mushroom to get back into action here. Darn it. A lot of this course is really cool. And then, that honestly, that one extra death plane really ruins a lot of stuff. Mario decides to make a beeline big. Oh, sorry, I'm actually going to this way. That would have been really bad. Oh my gosh. No. Oh. I'll take second. I'll take second after all that. Stupid Keen Boo won first, but alright. That was an interesting course. But man, you gotta touch up a couple things. Like, it really looked like there were two routes there, but it was only one. And, uh, remove that death plane or fix that part. Because, my gosh, that was really stupid. <laughs> Otherwise, though, I think that was a pretty cool course. Crystal Dungeon, final level. Alright, there's a lot of, uh, foliage for a dungeon. And not a lot of crystals. Let's see what this one is all about. Got Koopa Coot in his bullet. Ready to kick some tail. Maple Treeway music. That's interesting. Giant piranha plant. Not a okay. Oh, we're going underground, under the water, in order to go to the crystal dungeon. Okay. Pretty basic thus far. Just kind of a giant straight line. Quite simple. I like the I like the textures that are used here. There's a good amount of detail in them, so like good job picking that out. But the track itself is really basic. And I really hope that we are not about to come across bouncing mushrooms up here. We're coming across bouncing mushrooms here. Okay! Well simple just went out the window and was replaced with pure awfulness. You, you even put bouncy mushrooms that A, don't look like bouncy mushrooms, and B, you have to turn while doing them. That's like the triple strike. <laughs> yeah, okay. Not a fan of this course, and never will be. <laughs> oh my gosh, I blew up three people with that blue shell. Oh, but then the shrink happened. Everybody's launching their green shells for no reason. Great, Kimbo's behind me. Okay, you have to have a mushroom to go through there.
So if you know the exact path to take in advance, then you can get through it. But if you don't, you're screwed. No, still don't like that. <laughs> still giving that a strike. Actually, I'm giving that a triple strike because there are three things wrong with that. So unfortunately, we got our first bad course. But we had a good run. And this isn't like soul taintingly awful. It's just kind of really basic for most of it, and then it has a really horrible bouncy mushroom part at the end. But it's still like playable. It's just not very good. Oh, we got the mushroom balloon. That's kind of cool. that's kind of cute. Let's go, Koopa! Oh no, Kinbu got into second again. Boo. Literally. Alright, that's fine. We still win first overall. We just only got 57 points because <laughs> of the fiasco at the Tropical Factory. But honestly, most of that was me racing badly. And then the one part that got me twice because it really looked like we should have been able to drive on that. Anyways, though, rank B, still... Two, uh, two of the courses were great, or I took it. The first course was pretty great. The others were either average or kind of bad. So that that track was a, that cup was a little bit blah, not fantastic, but not terrible either. So I guess it breaks even. All right. Well, in honor of him making it into Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, I gotta place my boy Diddy Calm. I can't believe it took him that long to get at it, but here we are. And I like the Wild Wing. And we haven't been in a cart yet this video, so let's play. And now we're on the blue coin cup. We've got Aquadrome Stage, Abyssal Ruins, Medieval Castle Grounds, and Ice Peak Mountain. Another four completely custom tracks. This should be, at the very least, interesting. Can't wait to see what lies in the store. Hopefully, we got some uh, courses that work with outside drift carts. Aquadrome Stage, or Aquadrome. Interesting. Ooh! So we're racing through a building, eh? Huh. This could be really great, or it could be pretty bad. We'll see. It's probably going to be one extreme or the other. Wow. That is a complicated mini-map. We got Koopa Capes music, so that's already off to a poor start. Okay. Uh, oh, that's water. At least there are arrows on the wall telling you which way to go. Ah, I had a turn right to go left moment. I am getting lost in the aquarium. Oh my gosh, water slides. Okay, this instantly got 800% cooler. And then immediately we have to turn. Oh, did you do? Did you go off that <laughs> jump? Well, then you, uh, you're in trouble. Okay, this has some design issues. <laughs> You have absolutely no way of knowing whether, uh, which direction you need to go in. Or how sharp the turn is going to be. And you have, like, boost ramps that go right into the wall. Cool idea, but thus far I'm not happy with the execution. But perhaps lap two will fare a bit better. Stuck on it. Oh, again? Stop getting stuck on the wall! Oh my goodness. Why did it not let me up in the uh, shortcut route? Alright, now comes the water slide part, which I thought was really cool. But then they're like, oh, you gotta turn immediately. Of course, the CPUs all know to do that. Like, look at that! I was turning early before I even finished going off here and drifted with all my might, and I still hit the wall. Move it, Luigi.
Oh boy, a gold mushroom yet again. Just in time to fail to go up the staircase again. No, well, we've succeeded that time. Oh good, and we got a power, but just the right time. Oh darn it. Those triple warp pipes are blocking something important. They just know it. Okay, we're up in fifth place. That's that's not bad. I don't know where the first placer went, but I'm happy with that. And I think we've cleared pretty much the entire part of the annoying part of the stage. So now, as long as we take inside drifts and we don't hit anything stupid, we should be raring to go and get first place. Shoot that backwards, drop those three. Boom! Can't believe we won first on that. All right. Cool idea for a course, not well executed at all. Way too many turns that gave you zero warning whatsoever and were super tight, so I'm not a fan of that. If you were able to find some way of making those turns a bit more forgiving and fair, you could have a pretty awesome level. Now we're on Abyssal Ruins, looks like another water themed level. Ooh, okay, so we've got the Unagi and we've also got a bunch of stone ruins. This could be interesting, it could be like a precursor to Piranha Plant Cove. Let's see what it's about. Like the shape of the level. This looks pretty cool. Ooh, N64 Bowser Castle. I thought for sure we were getting Ghost Valley 2 music and I was going to be able to pump some of my custom music over it. Yes, we got on the... I, I was worried we were going to just barely hit the top and then bounce off. That would have been bad. Oh, I love the, I love the uh, kelp gate. That's really cool. All, all in all, this is making a really strong first impression. I am really liking what I see. Oh, okay. Don't like that nearly as much. Why, did they level Why are level designers always like, I know what we should do. Let's make people go uphill so they can't see what's at top, and then as soon as they get to the top, they immediately have to turn sharply. Like, that's a terrible design. Also, I don't like the bouncing mushroom at the end. Waluigi, you really don't want to mess with Diddy Kong today. Oh, hey, Warrior. Oh... I saw that happen. Yeah, that's what I was afraid was going to happen to me lap one. Well, it happened to me eventually. Now Dry Bones is behind me. Don't drift around that turn, that's what I've learned. That'll send you in the water. All in all though, this is a cool course. Apart from like, the two turns at the end, all in all this is a really fun and very well made course. And I love the atmosphere, this is an underwater course done right. Oh, you shouldn't have done that, Dry Bones. That part's also a little weird, because first lap I was able to get on the statue, and then the subsequent laps, even though I did essentially the same thing, I didn't. Not sure what's up with that. Oh. Uh, that was close. If I had fallen off there, I would have lost. Oh, yes, and we nailed Dry Bones at the end. Wasn't enough to make him lose, but you know what? That's okay. He only had seven points, so that'll help uh, widen our first place gap a little bit. All in all, I'd say that course was pretty great. Just fix those two turns at the end, and you got yourself a real winner. A real winner? That was actually very fun for most of it. All right, two Waterfiend stages. Next up, we got Medieval Castle Grounds. I'm pretty sure I have played this one. 
Okay, I like... Oh, the Flomp is taking a dip in the pond. Maybe I haven't. There's a couple of levels that are named similarly to this. It looks like maybe we're going through the courtyard of the castle, which, that's cool. I like castles. Simple mini-map. Oh, really? Just the generic music? Interesting. Someone hit my fake power-up. And did he dance the jig? Like the signs telling you which ways the turns are going? It's simple, but it's very, very nice and greatly appreciated for first-time players. Oh, yes! See, this is a simple track design, but really fun. I like the twists and turns, none of them unfair. I like the changing scenery as the course goes on. Short, sweet, and to the point. Yeah, this is a favorite of mine. This is already awesome. Could this be the course of the day? This is a great way of how you make, like, I'll call it a quote-unquote simple track uh, great. Because at the end of the day, this is just kind of a dirt road we're driving by. But the scenery around it and the way that the dirt road sh is shaped makes it really fun to drive on. Oh, hey, Daisy's in the wild wing, too. Too bad Diddy Kong's better! Uh -huh. Diddy Kong started in his own game! And it was the best game in the trilogy! How about you, Daisy? Oh no, you were just a princess to be saved in a one-off Mario spin-off game. And then you were added to the third-party games because we pitied you and we needed more character slots and we really had to scrape the bottom of the barrel to find them. <laughs> just tell it like it is. Nobody cared who Daisy was until she was added to the sports games. And she gets her own baby variant. Mario Kart 9, we're gonna get, like, Ice Flower Daisy as a character. Oh, I don't think so, Dry Bones. That was an awesome course. Really liked that. A+. Plus. Fantastic. Would definitely go back and play that again. Really, the only thing that's missing is a good shortcut. Actually, maybe there was one. Actually, that might have been a shortcut where you can boost through the wall. If so, then, like, S to your course. That was really fun. Simple, short, sweet, well-made, well-designed. Love to play it. Great job. Ice Peak Mountain, the final course. All right, we got a lot of trees. Oh my gosh, frozen cataquacks and freezies. Rainbow Cave. Okay. Is this going to be like a sherbet land? Or is this going to be more like DK Summit? I was thinking it would be more like DK Summit. Well, we're about to find out. And Ice Goombas. Okay, now it's DK Summit music. The Rainbow Cave is weird. Not sure how well that fits in with the icy theme, but maybe they're trying to go for like an Aurora Borealis as the cave. Okay, now we're going across the ice pond. We got, oh great, ice physics, cataclacks, and freezies. Okay, I don't appreciate the ice physics, but otherwise the course seems well made. Line's kind of weird there. Oh, hi. I guess the rainbow cave's kind of cool. I just am I'm questioning why it's rainbow. Oh, and there are holes in the ice that we gotta worry about. Ow. There was a boost ramp there. I wonder if that's for, uh, if you have mushrooms only, or if you can take that even casually. Hi, Dry Bones! You're getting a little close for comfort, considering you're in the quacker. Oh, 
little snake there. Even our odds a bit. Oh no. He went off road. It's okay. We see a mushroom. Rats. Lost all my protection. That's okay. No, there's no off road. Oh my gosh, we can go on the rooftops. But no! It forced me into the wrong direction. And it now it forces me onto the other track. For uh, reasons. No. Must beat dry bones. I'm not gonna beat Dry Bones. No! Dry Bones, you don't deserve this win! Darn it, it forced me off the cliff when I was on the rooftops. That's okay, we still won first overall. That was a pretty fun course. A couple of those... I don't like how the offer just instantly makes you slow down. But otherwise, that was a pretty cool course. <laughs> I will give it a pass. All right, pretty good courses all in all. Only really one dud and a couple that were just mediocre. But still, I'll take that over Soul Taintingly Terrible any day. And we still somehow scraped out a star even though we didn't even win first on every race. I will never understand how the star ranking works in this. Anyways, thanks for watching everybody. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day and God bless everyone.